How to flush a nephrostomy tube using aseptic technique. You will need a sterile dressing pack, three pairs of sterile gloves, a sterile catheter tipped syringe, 20 mils of normal saline or sterile water, an alco wipe, sterile leg bag and an apron. Explain the procedure to the patient and gain consent. If possible, sit the patient on the edge of the bed or lay the patient on their side. Clean your hands, clean the trolley and gather your equipment. Put on the apron and clean your hands again. Open the equipment onto an aseptic field using non-touch technique. Pour the flushing solution into the sterile receptacle. Clean your hands and apply sterile gloves. Apply the sterile towel around the site. Disconnect the nephrostomy drainage bag and discard. Discard your gloves, clean hands and apply sterile gloves. Clean the open end of the nephrostomy tube with the alco wipe and allow to dry. Discard the gloves, clean your hands and apply sterile gloves. Flush the tube with 10 to 20 mils of normal saline or water using gentle pressure. Attach a new sterile drainage bag, for example a leg bag, using non-touch technique. Observe the saline or urine flowing back into the bag. If you are changing the dressing, clean the skin around the nephrostomy site with normal saline and allow to dry. Apply a new skater fix dressing and cover with waterproof dressing, for example, Tegaderm. Dispose of the waste and clean hands according to ANTT guidelines. Clean your trolley and your hands. Seek medical advice if you are unable to flush the tube using gentle pressure, if the tube has become dislodged or falls out, if the patient experiences persistent pain following analgesia, if the patient shows signs of infection.